Hey guys, it's David at Finish Line Factory, and I'm here on Las Olas Boulevard for Exotics on Las Olas. And uh, look what we've got first. La Ferrari and an A12 super fast. So this is a huge car show. They've been planning this for a really long time. Enough of that, let's go to the cars. All right, let's see what we got here. La Ferrari, 812 super fast. This is a 720S that's been tuned and modified. So this one's making 747 to the wheel, which effectively makes it an 800S, I guess. Uh, but there's not much you can really do to these engines because uh, McLaren pretty much maxed out the turbos. Uh, you can only get a little bit more out of it. But the good news is that I imagine that the turbos can be upgraded and you can probably get even more power out of this engine. Because typically most manufacturers, they uh, overbuild the engine to make it last. So if you don't care about it lasting, you probably get 1,000, maybe 1,200, maybe 1,500 horsepower out of this engine. So we'll see what, uh, what, what Excel Autosport does with this. Moving on, we got a, I think this is acid green. Porsche 911. Mm, looks a little different. I'm not sure. It might be a yellow. Bentley GT3R. Let's see. McLaren 570S. I'm trying to get myself on. Let's see, you got a Huda Camper from Monte. Oh, nice. So Excel Auto also brought out brand new Vantage. Oh no, Hol Holman did. Okay. So you got a brand new Vantage. And. Oh, is this, uh, oh gosh, what is this thing? I forgot, I forgot. Let me see what, let me see what the sticker says. This is, this is freaking nice. I think this is a DB11? No, no, no. It's not a Vantage. This is a special DB11. This is the, oh, right, okay. This is the DBS Super Legera Coupe. How could I forget that? So... Wow, this car, this car just came out. It's got this really, really sparkly pearlescent paint. Wow, carbon fiber lip. All right. Let's see, Alcantara on the interior, Alcantara leather. Really nice. Carbon ceramic brakes. All right. What else we got? Moving on, we got a blue Bentley, Bentley Continental Super Sport. See, 911 GT3. Is it GT3? Can't tell. This has been modified clearly. So this is a modified GT3 RS. Okay. Very nice. Got a. I think this is color is called Signal Green on this GT3. No, this is a GT2 RS. There we go. GT2 RS and Signal Green. Got a GT3 in chalk. Let's see, this is a Cayman GT4 wrapped. Uh, we're getting to the McLarens. Let's see, here's a McLaren 675 LT with a roof scoop. The roof scoop alone is a $40,000 option. Look at this vented glass. Never seen that before. There you go, it's got a Capristo exhaust with carbon fiber wrapped tips. That's nifty. What else is here? I'm just going down this side, then I'll hop over to that side. There's a lot of cool stuff on that side too. What else is here? Oh, Solus is here. This is GT3 Robbie's 720S in uh, MSO color. Someone just started this Iris. Let's see if they can egg them onto Revit. Revit! This thing. This is a Bugatti Chiron. Looks like they use a uh, gloss white there, flat black in the in the back. With it's already been modified. This guy's got. Uh, it's actually owned by the owner of Anarchy Wheels, 
and he's already modified with some uh, anarchy wheels, of course. But man, look at that interior. See, it's got quilted red leather. Real nice. This is awesome. Wow. So the Maserati MC12 is basically a Ferrari Enzo modified into a race car. Uh, it's not intended for use as a road car, so that's why there's no rear window and you have absolutely no rear visibility. So I imagine they probably had someone else backing this car up to avoid damaging this very expensive carbon fiber diffuser. But look at this thing. It doesn't even look like a, like a road car. It looks more like a, like a competition race car. Wow. All right. What a great performance. Black LaFerrari. The so flat much. black roof. No way. What is this? Is this? This is a Celine S7. I have not seen a Celine S7 in like 10 years. So this one's in blue. And one of the few American supercars ever made. And get this guy right here. Thank you. What else we got? Oh, another American supercar, Ford GT. So this is uh, Brooks from Drag Times, and here's uh, Stormer 56, Brian Stormer. Of course, we got a red Ford GT right over here. <laughs> Silver Ford. This must be a just a line of straight up Ford GTs. Oh, and this this black Ford GT with the number two. This car is actually owned by Billy Johnson. He's the driver of the number 68 car, I think, of the uh, four GT race cars. So, that's something right there. Check this out. Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. So, kind of digging the new front end. Uh, this has the, let's look at the front end of the, the Portofino, so I can see where they got that, that front end from. This one looks like it's got some kind of sparkle on it. Oh no, it's just uh, little dots in the uh, paper protection film. But over here, you can check out this rear end. I love the, the individual tail lights, the individual four circle tail lights. And that hatchback, I'm sure, makes it really, really uh, practical to use every day. You know, about as practical as you can get with a V12 Ferrari. This is a car that's actually kind of rare. So this might look like a like 308 or you know, some run-of-the-mill Ferrari from the 70s or 80s, but this is actually a 512 BBI. Five valves per cylinder, 12 cylinders. The BBI stands for Berlinetta Boxer Injected. There you go. These are actually extremely rare. I don't, I don't know if that many were brought into the U.S. I think, I don't know if any were brought into the U.S. and all the ones that are in the U.S. were actually imported, but I'm not 100% sure. Check out the spec. Leather with red and white striped cloth on the inside. It's a little difficult to see. But this is nice. This is really, really cool. So this is the car you get when the GT3 RS just isn't enough. You get the RS 4.0. The standard GT3 RS has a 3.8 liter engine. This has a four liter engine. This one's actually, I think they were only available with a manual transmission. So look at that. Got extra carbon fiber in the interior. They really should put, let the windows down so they can, uh, you know, let us see into it. But it's just sick. Carbon fiber, carbon ceramic brakes. And this is actually one of the first cars ever to, one of the first production cars ever to have uh, factory dive planes. Now this might be kind of common somewhat on, on more modern supercars, but when this came out, it was a big, big deal. All right, check this out. So. Foreign Affairs brought out a couple of Porsches. So right here we have a 911 GT3. We've got a classic 911 in red. Check out the uh, aftermarket projector headlights. Really modernized the look of this car. Oh, we got really nice leather seats. What are these? Ooh, these must be our cars or something. Hey, do you know what seats these are? Do you know what seats these are? GT3 RS. These are GT3 RS seats? Wow, and they, they just bolt right up or what? Damn, they must have... Must have had to do something to make them make them work. Nice. 
And then over here, so you got a, I think this is a 964 race car. Look at this. So these have Recaro seats. Look at this, got a padded roll cage. Damn, this is nice. Check out the back. Oh, nice, you got a big turbo engine. Check out the huge intercooler. Just to give you the an idea, that's my hand, that's the intercooler. Huge, huge intercooler. So, I don't know how much power they're making, but probably enough to, uh, to win. All right, let's check out the two stars of this show. So over here is a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, one of 20 in the world. And this one is extra rare because it has fully exposed carbon on the entire car. Look at this. Full exposed carbon on the chassis, on the wing, on the doors, everything. A little difficult to get uh, some good shots with all the people here, but let's see what I can do. Wow. Check out the spec. It's got brown, almost just like brown Alcantara. Let's see if we can juggle the brightness a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Really, really nice. Coming down here. Carbon ceramic brakes. Carbon fiber inserts on the wheels. There you go. Look really, really close to you. The headlight, it says Lamborghini light design. Very nice. So this is a $2.3 million car. I imagine the full carbon option is another half million dollars. Really nice. All right, and I saw this yesterday, but we're gonna see it again today. This is a full carbon Chiron. So uh, the same company that owns Lamborghini Broward, Warren Henry Auto Group, they're also opening a Bugatti dealership, Bugatti Broward. Uh, it's gonna be a section of Lamborghini Broward, and uh, they have this car on loan from Bugatti, so this is absolutely amazing, this, this car. Let's lower the brightness a little. Wow. You got the quad headlight design, classic Bugatti grill, 1500 horsepower, quad turbo, 16 cylinder engine. You got Alex Berry over here. You got, you got this guy over here. What's up, Eric? Oh, just checking out a uh, you know, $3 million car. What's that? All of those uh, million dollar cars down there. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting to those. I saw a few of them, but you know, I'm just checking out the uh, the three million dollar car right now. They have two of the four GTs over there, the newer ones. Yeah, one, the black one is actually owned by Billy Johnson. He's the driver of the number 68 race car. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at this thing. 1500 horsepower, 16 cylinder quad turbo. I think it goes like uh, 283 miles per hour, but it's limited to 267, so that's nice. This isn't Happy Hippies, right? No, Happy Hippies is red. Tim's car is red. Red exposed carbon. Yeah, his is red exposed carbon. Okay. All right, so as much as I love checking out those two amazing cars, uh, it's also really, really hot, and I don't like being hot, so I'm getting out of the sun, getting into the shade. Yeah, hold it down. There you go. You got to move the course. Listen to that V10. We're gonna get some uh, some breakfast. That was good. Thank you. I have the steak. I know. <laughs> oh man, that looks good. You gotta go with steak, man. That's a big bunch while we're there. All right, so we're done with brunch, and uh, I heard that Dennis's Ferrari F50 and his Countach are here. So we're gonna cruise down the street. We're gonna find those. All right, check it out. So. Got the Diablo right here, leading into a red Countach. I think both of these cars are uh, Rosso Mars. Check this out, you can actually see the carbon fiber weave. I don't know if it'll come out of the camera. You can see the carbon fiber weave right there in the paint. That's that Dennis, but it's got something like 18,000 kilometers on the engine. Yeah, right? So here's, here's Shane, what's up Shane? What's up? 
And then you got the uh, F50. Yeah, check it out. F50, serial number one. So this is how you know this is serial number one. It's a red F50, and right here it's got this yellow stripe on the inside portion. So, there you go. Really nice. You see the plastic engine cover? Hiding that V12, no. Was, is it, was it a V12? Yeah, yeah the, the, the F40 got the, uh, the twin turbo V8. This got the V12. All right. And over here, check this out. Red Bugatti Veyron. 1,000 horsepower, 253 miles per hour. And wait, what is this? This is a Roof CTR3. Wow, OK, so I've seen the black one. Man, that's a nice car. So I've seen the black one and a silver one. Didn't even know there was more than one in Miami. Look at this, look at this. Inboard suspension, like a Formula One car. Carbon fiber everywhere, aluminum chassis. This is a beast. Colored in matte silver with a red interior. Looks like it's got, um, let me jack up the brightness a little. There you go. Oh, it's got some tinting on this on this thing, but you can't really see it. But it's got a red quilting, le red quilted leather. Really nice interior. Over here, Performante Spider. She got the forged carbon on this wing, the bumper. Beautiful. Hey, we're back at the front. So I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna look for any cars that I might have missed. So there's a sign here that says, "Unless you are in the nude, please do not lean on this car." So, it doesn't specify male or female, so... Got this badass Liberty Walk GTR out here. Let's see, we got a 488. What else we got? Does the 48 have its front end lift up? Oh, come on, man. What else we got? We got a 650S, 570 down there. Over here, we've got this badass modified 570 backing up. I think this is Jeff's car. Yep. There we go. Damn, it sounds badass. So I'm just waiting for them to uh, start up these two cars, the Bugatti Chiron and the Centenario. So this is essentially a heavily, heavily, heavily modified Aventador chassis. Uh, of course, it has its own unique body panels, unique interior. Uh, I think the only thing that they're using for this is the, the chassis and the, and the engine. Um, of course, even the engine is modified. The engine has a, about... 70 more horsepower than a standard uh, Aventador, so this is really sweet.
right, so they're reloading the Centenario onto the Lamborghini Barrera trailer. Let's do it. Hey man, what is what is this? What is this? Bizzarini. A Miserini? A Bizzarini, okay. Bizzarini 128 Sport. That's a unique thing. You ever seen a tow truck towing a trailer with two more cars on it? That's something new. So this guy, rather than pull over temporarily, decided he's just gonna drive up on the sidewalk and cruise on that way. Okay, I mean, I guess it technically works. This guy in the SQ5 was beeping at him like, dude, it's a tow truck towing a trailer with two cars. Like, let him do his job, be a little more patient. It's unbelievable how uh, impatient people will be. Like, come on. Oh, no way. Is that a DB4, DB5? DB6, okay. Yeah. Man, let me tell you, it's unbelievable just how, uh, what's the word, how impatient people can be. Uh, so that guy with the, the silver RAV4, uh, I told him that tow truck is carrying a um, $1 million car with two $400,000 cars trailing behind it. And he's like, I don't give a shit, I'm just trying to get, up, get to where I'm going. I'm like, you know, the, the fastest for you, the fastest way for uh, you to get going on your way is for you to back up and let this man do his job. You know, let the tow truck driver back up so he has enough space in order to make the turn. The guy didn't give a shit, just drove, drove up on the sidewalk and headed on on out. Alright guys, Exotics on Las Olas is over. I'm, uh, I'm heading out, getting back to the Mustang. And uh, thank you for watching. Catch, I'll catch you guys later. Be sure to check out finishlinefactory.com. Like and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye.
Bro, what's up, man? How you doing? 